This is News 3 Sports. Murfreesboro had quite a senior class, lots of great athletes. Desmond Clark and Logan Sullivan, they stand out. They both helped the football team get to the state championship. And when it came to track, this dynamic duo found themselves at the podium among the state's best. Murfreesboro's Desmond Clark is an all-state athlete in two sports, the triple jump and football. I just want to be the best I can be at everything I do. And so every time I go out, I just try to perform at the highest level that I can. Des is probably the strongest kid pound for pound in our school. Logan Sullivan is an all-state track athlete as well. The 400 meters is this sprinter's go-to event. When the gun goes off, it's just kind of like a switch, and you're, I'm just kind of, all the nervousness goes away, and it's just running. Logan's, uh, he's a hard worker. Uh, he's a you know, bright kid that... Uh, uh, just have a, has a great work ethic. Uh, he'll do what he has to do in the weight room. He'll do what he has to do on the track. There may not be a track season, but Sullivan is going to get his chance to break the school record in the 400 meters. He'll get his opportunity through a virtual race. He says it'll be tough because he's an athlete that needs competition around to bring out his best. It's definitely a challenge to just visualize beating a time. You got to really focus on staying top speed because your mind plays tricks on you when you're running, when you're sprinting for that long of a distance. You think you're going slower than you are, and so you just got to focus. I really wasn't running my best until I got into sections in state when I was against people that guys that were better than I was. So it it definitely helped. I cut two seconds off my time in two weeks just going from like conference to sectionals to state. And uh, running by yourself, it, there's not really any adrenaline there. There's nothing, there's no one to run against. So it's just kind of, it's definitely a challenge. What's amazing about Dez's story, he just started doing the triple jump last season. Funny story, we were in, the, we were in class one day and he was, uh, I took roll and he was making fun of the kids that were triple jump. He says, I, you know, I can do better. And I said, you can't, let's see you do it. And he couldn't, he, he, didn't, he had no idea how to do it. And so I just kind of showed him, you know, me, I'm not a triple jumper, but I just kind of showed him the steps. And uh, I said, by the way, you're doing it tonight. So I moved him into that, and uh, I think he jumped 40 feet the first time he jumped. So, I mean, we knew he had something. As I see people jumping, it's like, okay, they get this number, they get this number. And then I'm looking at myself, I'm like, I have to get this number. And if I don't get this number, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. And it's like, I have to get this number or or else. So I just go out and I try to jump as far as I can. Both Dez and Logan have had success on the football field. So when spring came around, they brought that gridiron toughness and desire to win to the track. For football and track, honestly, they kind of go hand in hand. Uh, for fo football, and football helps track, it helps your explosiveness, and the same thing with track, track helps football. As I'm running, I just try to like see things as I don't want to be tackled. I don't want to go down. I don't want anyone to stop me from achieving what I want to achieve. And I want to put points on the board because as a, as a running back, as a kick returner, it's my job to try to take everything to the house. And so when I get the balls, like my first goal is just to get through everyone and just to be faster than everyone and just not go down. Logan Sullivan one day wants to work for either National Security or Homeland Security, so he's narrowed his college choices down to either Eastern Kentucky or Virginia Tech. Whichever school he chooses, he plans on walking on to their track team. Desmond Clark, as of right now, plans on walking on to SIU's football team. That's your sports for tonight. We'll be right back with a final look at weather.